I'm out, bitches. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome to something a little bit different. It is what you thought it wasn't. And uh, do you have any idea? Probably do from reading the title. But uh, check this out. <gasps> oh my god. I'm stoked. <laughs> Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition. That's right. You get to be a member of Team Rocket, which is a childhood dream come true. The full version came to release just yesterday, and uh, I decided to start it now that we finished Pokemon Clover, and, and now that we can. Because uh, the old versions of this were not compatible, so I, I had to wait for the full release. But now that it's here, dude, I am so into it. Things finally appear to be looking up in the feudal region of Kanto. Since the end of the Great War ten years ago, the region's new champion Lance managed to restore its damaged economy and pave the way for a new age of economic and technological prosperity. Oh, that Lance, he's a good guy. Not everyone were quite so happy with their post-war government, however. Mobs, street gangs, and other forms of petty organized crime soon arose, each vowing to restore the region to its former independent glory. None, however, were as powerful nor as respected as the notorious Team Rocket. This infamous organization would regularly scour the region's city streets in search of eager-minded, impoverished trainers to prove their worth among its ranks, then task them with organized acts of theft, assault, and corruption. It is with one of these young trainers that our story begins. Ah, oh, dude! What up? What up, bruh? Hello there! Welcome to Team Rocket. You're one of the lucky few to be allowed entry into our ranks. For your own sake, I hope you'll prove yourself worthy of it. Now, if you're like any of our other new recruits, I'm guessing you've never owned a Pokemon before in your life. And in that case, I'll be happy to say that this is your lucky day. Give me a Rattata, bro. Come on. Each of you will receive one of these beauties for yourselves. Don't like it? Well then, you ungrateful little bastards, I suggest you go out and steal yourself something else. This is a criminal organization, not a charity for crying out loud. Rattata, return! Anyhow, now the chit-chat's out of the way. How about you tell me a little about yourself, huh? That's me! A name. I suppose you gotta have one of those, haven't you? Yeah, some people call me Dayton, some people call me Dayton Does, some people call me, uh, D-Dog. Nobody calls me D-Dog, that's a lie. <laughs> but maybe now that I'm a criminal... Yeah! Dayton, is that it? Yes! Well then, Dayton. A new life of violence, thievery, and other assorted misdemeanors awaits you. Stay away from the police, abide by your superior's order, and never show mercy to anyone. Do this, and maybe one day you can rise to become as powerful as me. Who knows? Now get moving. We ain't got all day. So do I start with my mom? Does my mom know I'm a criminal? I guess not. Petril. Okay, ladies, listen up. I'm only gonna say this once. You are now officially Team Rocket Grunts. Yes, that's right. But don't go patting yourselves on the back just yet. Until each of you have proven yourselves out in the field, you're nothing but a bunch of pipsqueaks to me. Hmm. Now, you're gonna receive your first mission in a little bit, but before then, we have a couple of things we need to get sorted. In the crates behind me, you'll find your very own first Pokémon. Starting from the top left here, I want each of you to come up one by one to get your little rodent. Well, I guess it's not a surprise what we get to start with. You will then proceed to the top of the floor through the staircase on my right. One of our friendly neighborhood science geeks up there will then provide you an HM for Fly. Once you have this HM, and once you've managed to summon enough balls to steal yourself a proper bird Pokemon, then you fly your sorry asses to Mount Moon as soon as conceivably possible and await further instructions. Is that understood? Sir, yes sir! Well then, get to it. Okay. Okay, you go first. I wanna go next. Okay, next. Get moving, Babel. Yeah, this is for me. So you want the rat Pokemon Rattata? No. No? Well, that's too bad. You're getting it anyways. <laughs> uh, I guess I am. Would you like to give a nickname to Rattata? Yeah, sure. He's gonna be the boss, so he's gonna be Don Corleone. I think that's right. Okay. Corleone! Next in line now. Move it, move it! Alright, I gotta go. See you later. Do I launch myself on this? Maybe. <laughs> what is all this? Oh, I can shortcut. I'm out, bitches. 
<laughs> oh, there's gonna be so much new new adventure. Gee, I never fancied myself robbing someone with a Rattata, did you? Oh yeah, the scientist dude is down there by the computers on the left. Uh, yeah, left, I know that. Hey, you're going out to steal your first Pokemon, are you? Take note. As a grunt, you only have authority to steal... Authority enough to steal from children and old people. Try anyone else, and they'll just blow you off. Wow! So I have to level up my authority before I can steal from adults? Another new recruit, is it? Yeah, I got that HM of yours right here. Just a sec. Mm -hmm. Free fly for all grunts now, eh? My Giovanni's going soft. Here it is, pal. Don't go putting it to waste now. It's an HM. You can reuse it, dude. Now get out of here. I got work to do. Alright. Well, uh, I just got some running shoes. That's good. I remember my first steal like it was yesterday. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing the look on some poor guy's face as you rob him of his lifelong companion and run away laughing. Haha. <laughs> Relish it while it lasts, Grunt. So I shall. Hey Grunt, don't you have a mission to do right, right about now? Quit screwing around the hideout then. You don't want to get on Petrol's bad side. Oh. I can't take the elevator. Okay. My bad, guys. I was just, you know, looking around. It's the place that I call home. Hey, buddy, wait up. You're dating, aren't you? That's right, I was right next to you in the initiation ceremony downstairs. That stuff was badass, man. You going out to steal your first Pokemon? Cool. Oh? You know, you don't strike me as the kind of guy who'd go out and decide to become a professional crook all of a sudden. Bet you never even nicked a candy bar from a Pokemon before, am I right? Ha! <laughs> don't worry about it, man. I'll teach you all you need to know. All right, hang on for just a second. I actually don't know how to steal a Pokemon. One HM2, please, and be quick about it. Oh, he said please, he's nice. My name's Ronnie, by the way. Man, I'm itching to steal me some Pokemon. Should we go? Yeah, let's go. Welcome to Celadon. This place is too darn crowded. Meet me outside. All right, then. What are you looking at, grunt? Don't go making us look suspicious now. Says the guy staring at a recruitment poster in the uniform that the recruitment poster is for. What? Ronnie, there you are! Okay, Dayton, I'm gonna teach you all there is to know about stealing people's Pokemon. What's that? How am I an expert in Pokemon crime all of a sudden? Okay, look, yeah, I know I just joined Team Rocket, but I'll have you know I came prepared. Immorality is my passion, man! <laughs> Come with me! So I shall. Do 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 do. <clears throat> Pokemon Robbery for Dummies, Chapter 1. The first step to any successful Pokemon heist is to pick a suitable target. How about that fat guy? Now seeing as we're only grunts, we can only steal from kids and old people for the time being, which sucks. But hey, I'm sure we'll be rising up the ranks in no time flat, so don't worry about it. Anyway, point being, we've got to find ourselves an old fart or a little brat. Give me a shout if you see any. That fat guy. Not the fat guy? Okay. Uh, there's an old guy! He's across the river! Dayton, Dayton, Dayton! An innocent look at schoolgirl, 6 o'clock! Oh! <laughs> Uh-oh. Ronnie's a bad man. This is our chance, okay, okay. Focus now. Let me see what the experts have to say next. Hmm, step two. Engage your chosen target in a Pokemon battle and proceed to defeat them. Okay. Simple enough. Well, what are you waiting for? Go beat the crap out of that little girl now. You heard the experts. <laughs> what? Who? Me? Nah, come on, man. That's... I mean, it'd be far too easy. Besides, you're the newbie here, aren't you? Yeah, um, I'll... I'll be right behind you, buddy. Alright, come here, little girl. Oh, hello. Do you want to play with me? Yay! You know, this is my most favorite place in all of Celadon to play. What? Oh, Pokemon battle? Oh, okay. I can do that. I only have these Pokemon that my mom gave me for my birthday, but okay. Battling seems like fun. I've seen it on TV. Let's do it. Oh, gave me for your birthday. Jeez, man. Way to make me feel like trash about it. But maybe that's the point of this whole game. It's telling me crime ain't cool. All right, Corleone, give that thing a tackle. And I think quick attack is even stronger than tackle, as a matter of fact, so. I should just go for quick attack. Also, Don Corleone's a girl? Shit. I should have checked that. Could have named her Bonnie or something like that. You no, know, Bonnie and Clyde. Quick attack. 
Blam! And a peck. Don't get crit. Don't get crit now. You're gonna be all right. Hooray! More experience for me! Wow, you beat me! I sure did. Thanks for the 12 poke. Well, that was fun. Huh? Hey, no, please, what are you doing? Let me go! Give me this here, Pokemons! Oh man, oh man, oh man, you did it, Dayton! Now for the final step. Man, I'm itching with excitement. Step 3. Having successfully defeated your chosen target, you may now force him or her to hand over one of their Pokemon, as far as your rank within your organization of choice allows. Well, okay. God damn it, if being a gangster isn't the coolest thing in the world. Go ahead now, Dayton. I'll hold her down. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, please don't! You guys are meanies! Steal which Pokemon? I mean, I love Spearow. I know it's stronger than Pidgey. It's got, like, same type attack and... But I love Pidge. I love Pidgeot. I'm gonna go for Spearow. I'll probably replace him at some point anyways. <laughs> the triumphant music. Dayton stole Spearow from little girl Susie. Would you like to give a nickname? Yes, I would. <clears throat> this is gonna be Clyde, but he ain't got no Bonnie yet. I did notice the gender this time. Hooray. Good for me. <laughs> Sweet, man. I'll take this one, then. Get out of here, little girl. See, that was pretty straightforward, wasn't it? Ain't no thing, man. So anyways, what do you want to do now? I guess we better head on over to Mount Moon like that guy Petrol talked about. That Pokemon you snag can learn fly, can't it? Go figure. It's almost like they programmed it that way. Anyway, no rush. I'm gonna head back and show off my new Cory to those noobs back at HQ. Feel free to join me or whatever. Catch you later, man. Oh, Ronnie. Rotten Ronnie. They should have named him Robbie. Rotten Robbie! How about you, sir? Oh, I blew it all at the slots. I knew I should have cashed in my coins for prizes. Yeah, you should have. I'm always loath to do what I'm ordered, so, you know, I'm just gonna hang around for a little bit. I will teach my... my new Pokemans fly. Clyde, learn it. Yeah, boy! I guess, uh, it didn't matter if I picked Pidgey or Spearow, because... I picked Spearow because he er he learns Peck, or he knows Peck, so it's got the same type of attack. He's a little bit stronger than Pidgey, because of that, but, um, yeah, with Fly, that, that doesn't really matter too much. So, so, let's see if everybody's, like, done picking their Pokemons up, or what's going on over here. Hey, everybody. Looks like it. Beg, steal, lie, cheat. Ah, it's the life of a grunt. Team Rocket's going soft. I can feel it in my bones. We just don't inspire the type of respect in the Celadon streets that we once did. I hear ya. There's gotta be something we can do to set things straight again. I'll work on it, fellas! These freaking arrow tiles make me dizzy. Why are they even here? Ah, uh, well, mostly because it's fun! Don't you like to have fun? Yes, yes. We all do. Oh, can I go to, like, the top floor? Yeah, boy! Or the bottom floor? Sure, whatever. I'm just having an adventure. Hi, everybody! There's, there's nobody in here. Oh, he, you! Hey, hey, hi! Hello, I'm new! <laughs> Working next to boss makes me feel kind of powerful. Not sure if anybody else can sense it, though. Yes, your power level. It's over nine. Just nine. Shoo, boss has enough on his mind without little grunts like you coming in and bothering him. Boss is very busy right now. He hasn't got time for grunts like you. Don't call me a grunt. You're a grunt. Maybe. I don't know. We can't see people's ranks, so... I think that could be a cool addition. If they're like, oh, this guy's obviously an executive. He has a different uniform. If you're looking for boss's office, it's down on the bottom floor through the elevator here. Don't know why you would be, though. I just was exploring. Just, just getting to know my surroundings. I wonder what I'll have to do for them to promote me to Rocket Admin. I figure taking Pokemon from kids and old fogies has to be the least of it. Sigh. Oh. Well, way to go. What are you looking at, punk? Want a piece of me? Ha, what? Just practicing my tough guy demeanor. Didn't work! How'd you like your first little robbery go? Thrilling, wasn't it? Well, there's more where that came from. Yes, there is, isn't there? If there's anything I hate more than being a supplier for rookies on recruitment day, it's to be pestered by those very same rookies while I'm trying to work! 
Maybe if I just ignore them, they'll go away on their own. <laughs> and maybe not! Ha! I'm back! Oh, I thought he might have said, like, a different dialogue the second time. I don't know. Alright, let's let's get to Mountain Moon, then. I gots to go. Hop in the coop, cause I gots to go. With my little spear roll. Not the bag. Not the bag. There you go. Let's have a little flight. Wow, you just dropped me straight off at Route 4? Mount Moon? Hi, Dan. I guess I don't have to, like, battle gym leaders or anything. Hey, you! Over here and listen up, grunt. What's up, dude? <clears throat> well, it's time for your first mission, grunts. We've been informed by a well-trusted source at the Pewter City Museum that some particularly rare Pokemon fossils have been spotted inside this here cave. We believe that these fossils, once acquired, will be of great help to Seam Rocket. Why? Well, that's none of your concern, really. Now, we have hired a particular super nerd to help find and identify these fossils, and he is currently making his way through the cave along with some of the other new recruits that weren't as slow in getting here as you lot. Hmm. Your mission today is to assist in the search in any way you can. That means scavenging every nook and cranny of this hole, fending off any trainers who might have gotten a big idea about collecting some fossils of their own, and reporting any and all sightings to me. Do I make myself clear? Sir, yes, sir! Of course I do. Now get moving, kids. Yay! Let's have an adventure! But first I gotta heal my, my Ratata. Hi, welcome to Pokemon Center. It's free for everybody, including Team Rocket Grunts. Well, isn't that nice of you? I mean, it kind of is a double-edged sword, isn't it? You're sure lucky we have a public health healthcare system here. Otherwise, criminals like you would be kicked out in no time flat. Don't tell anyone, but I think you rockets are actually pretty badass. Can I join? Sure, man. Something ought to be done to stop criminals like you. This is so awesome! Everybody hates me! This, we're not trying to be friends and stuff. Everybody, everybody's just like, get out of here, Rocket Grunt! And I'm like, whatever. I'm gonna beat up your kids and your grandma will take their Pokemon. Is that a kid? Is that a kid? I found a TM. It contains Bullet Seed. Hello, fellow Grunt. Nope, no fossils here. All I see are rocks and Zubat, damn it. Zubat, you say? Oh, there's one now! Oh, it's a Geodude. Well, I can't, uh... I can't really catch anything at the moment. I wonder if I can buy my own Pokeballs, or how that's gonna work. Paralyze heal. Hey, hey! Ho, ho! Are bug catchers kids? I think bug catchers are kids. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go fight that bug catcher there. But first, quick attack! Ooh! It actually didn't do very much. I gotta catch some levels. My Pokemon is weak! I don't wanna be like an actual Team Rocket grunt, you know? Forever. Like those other Rocket grunts. Pshaw! Whatever, you know. <laughs> They're so weak. But I'm not going to be weak forever. I have a... Uh, Big plans, you know. There it is, my first ever level. Wow, we've come so far in such a short time. <laughs> What's up with you? Suspicious men in the cave. What about you? Yeah, that's me. Hi. How are ya? Can I have some of your Pokemon, please? Weedle. If you got Weedle and Caterpie, I'm definitely gonna take the Caterpie. Because, uh, Butter... Butterfree kicks the crap out of Beedrill. TBH. Use a string shot, but it doesn't matter because all I spam is quick attack. All day, every day. I could also bring out my birdie, I guess. That would be nice. Hmm. Hooray! About to use Caterpie. Oh, I need to change the... The battle type from switch to set. So, they just send out the next Pokemon, they don't like inform me and be like, Do you want to switch? It's a bit more legit that way, isn't it? Because that's how it is in the anime, they're not like, Hey! I'm gonna send out Electabuzz! Do you, do you want to switch first? So you can get the advantage, like right away? No, they just send the Electabuzz out, and then you're like, Oh crap! Why'd I keep Lapras out? And then you gotta switch your Lapras into something that can absorb an electric move. Like, another Electabuzz. That's right, I want three Electabuzzes on my team. Alright. Clyde got the level. 
good boy. Hey, wait, are you one of them? Uh, no shit. Steal a Pokemon? Hell yeah. Give me your cat a piece, son. Ugh. I just love to try fit music when you steal shit. Yeah, let's let's give it a name. Um, this is gonna be it's gonna be wiggle wiggle snout. Wiggle snout. I hope that fits. I don't know if it will. Well, he could be a wiggle snot. That's fine. <laughs> he doesn't actually have a snout, so that makes sense. But anyways, friends, we'll dive a bit further into Mount Moon a little later. My goodness, I'm so excited for this to finally be in a full release. I finally get to play it on the channel. Ah! I hope it doesn't take me three years to complete it like it did for Pokemon Clover, though. Good lord. That would be crazy. But, uh, yeah. I'm liking the look of these Pokemans. Adamant nature on my Spearow. Damn. Uh, hasty? I'm not sure what that is. I know it's plus speed. Maybe minus attack or minus defense. But yeah, not too bad, all things considered. I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. Friends, if you did enjoy this episode, let me know if you want to see some more other Pokemon ROM hacks. I've got my eye on quite a few. I should probably just make a top 10 list and let you guys pick from that. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sort it. Don't you worry. Check out the links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. We're having a black hole giveaway on my Discord right now, which is like a puzzle platformer game. So join up if you'd like to get in on that. We're having giveaways all the time in the Discord. We've also got the Patreon, which of course, thank you to Nico the Legend for supporting us on Patreon. Anyhow, friends, I will see you in the next one. This has been Team Rocket edition of Pokemon Fire Red. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I shall see you then. So until then... Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friend.